me understand what's going through Scotty Pippen's mind right now. Ooh, <laughs> you need Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you need everybody. You know, I, I feel bad because it seems like he's just trying to go big game hunting because he's selling a book. Uh, I'm never going to tell another person what to say. We got to all have our own opinion. But this seems like he's got a book coming out because the book, when, when you write a book, in my opinion, it should be your personal thoughts about everything about you, you letting the world know what you think. Uh, but it just seems like to me, when you go after Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan, uh, he came out to me a little bit. You're just going big game hunting because you know it's going to get some clicks. And uh, I've always liked Scotty. I thought he was a very good player. But like I say, it just seems like I've just got to go big game hunting because if I talk bad about big time people, it's going to get clicks and I'm going to sell some books. I feel bad for him because it felt like nobody really asked him his opinion when he played. I remember being around the Bulls, the NBA Finals, and it felt like it was Mike, it was Phil, it was Rodman, it was it was everybody but Scotty, and here's Scotty, one of the great players of all time. And I think he just wants to kind of set the record straight. I think he really got hurt with the last dance. He probably tuned in with his family saying, hey, Mike's going to be saying some nice things about me. And then next thing you know, Mike's roasting Scotty there. Um, well, Dan, even myself, when people talk about me, they get to bring up stupid stuff I did. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. You don't get to get mad about it. The stuff that Michael said in the last dance was true. Uh, like, Every time they bring up stupid stuff I did, I can't get mad. I did have done some stupid things in my lifetime. Uh, but I don't think it was Michael's intention to roast Scotty. But like I say, I just think that it seems like, if, if first of all, if you want to say these things, just say them. Don't put them in a book. That's the only problem I've had with a lot of these things. I, I, if, if he wants to come on Dan Patrick show and say some things, I got no problem with that if he wants to say his opinion. But when you bring all this stuff up and you just happen to have a book coming out, that's what I think is what the problem everybody's having now. But he's taking on Mike right now. And as you that's know... Big, listen, uh, listen, that's as big as game hunting as you can get. <laughs> I know, but you never get that trophy. You, you, you can't... Mike doesn't let you put... You know his head on your uh, your your wall. That that doesn't happen. I, I know, but like I say, Scott is just trying to sell books. Yeah. I don't think he's worried about relationships down the line, uh, friendship down the line. I think he's just trying to sell books. LeBron's a great great player, and he's a really really nice guy. I don't think anybody ever said Michael and Kobe were nice guys because they don't <laughs> care about that. Hey, listen. And that's not a knock. Everybody don't have that killer, 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 killer instinct. Like Kobe and Michael, like I say, I've been in the NBA for 37 years, and I've seen a lot of great players. David Robinson was a great player. He's a nice man. Uh, Patrick Ewing is, was a great, great player. He's a nice man. Carl Malone's a nice man. John Stock's a nice man. Michael and Kobe, listen <laughs> – I don't think anybody ever said, oh, man, they are nice guys. They out there to kill you. Was Bird a nice guy? No. Uh, he is like, uh, but he didn't have that physical ability. Like, Larry beat you with his will and his mind. But he didn't have the athletic ability that Kobe and Michael and LeBron and those guys had. Yeah. Larry willed himself and his team to win. Uh, that's a great question, too. Same thing with Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson was a great, great player, but he couldn't physically impose his will upon you like Kobe and Michael could. Are you